Thank you, Madam President. I come here today uh, to again speak in support of comprehensive tax reform. For weeks, I have worked to highlight the enormous benefits that our tax reform efforts will have for the economy. I'm really excited about the point where I think we are now because I know this will help our middle income families uh, and for businesses of all sizes. Uh, the tax reform bill principally, um, not principally, but I think should not be lost in the fact that the, the tax reform bill doubles the standard deduction. Now in my state, small state, West Virginia, 83 percent of the people who live in the state of West Virginia don't itemize and they're going to use the standard deduction and that's going to be doubled. It also significantly increases the child tax credit. Again, great for families, uh, great for um, young families with children trying to make ends meet. It will make America's businesses more competitive around the world, which I think will lead to higher wages and more opportunities for our workers. I encourage my colleagues to join these efforts on the Senate proposal and as it worked its way through the Senate Finance Committee. And again, as it has come to the Senate floor for debate, and then next week, we're hoping to see the conference committee uh, on the Senate floor. Last week, I explained why I was proud to cast my vote for this critical legislation. And I expressed my optimism that the Senate and the House would come together, reconcile, reconcile the differences between the two bills, and settle on an agreement that would provide real relief and real opportunity for the American people. So today, we are closer than ever to getting comprehensive pro-growth tax reform across the finish line. And that's why I'm standing here today to explain why it is so important that we move it all the way through and that we pass these reforms. But I'm, I'm asking to take my word as I have the last several weeks and months. But now, today, I ask you to not simply take my word for this. Throughout the process, whenever I've been at, back home in West Virginia, I've heard from constituents, friends, strangers who are really rooting on this effort. And they're rooting for it because they understand what a difference it will make in their lives. Whether I'm at a round table discussion or the grocery store, so many West Virginians have shared with me what tax reform would mean for them and their families. And they've encouraged me and encouraged us to get this done because they know what tax reform will do for our state in terms of jump-starting the economy. One West Virginian I recently heard from, Donald from Beckley. Donald recently wrote to me on behalf of his sons and grandchildren, who he said will, quote, reap the rewards of the tax reform bill. He wrote, and I quote, there are too many minimum wage jobs in West Virginia and not enough higher paying jobs for advancement. There is no ladder for the young people to climb anymore. End quote. Donald added that he would be very surprised if the tax bill doesn't help solve this problem. If we don't see higher wages, which we believe we will, Don Donald says, I'd be surprised. I know we're going to see higher wages. And he said, I quote, I really hope that the Senate and the House gets this bill to the President's desk before Christmas so he can sign it. This week, similar support was echoed by a number of groups and organizations in West Virginia. The West Virginia Office of the National Federation of Independent Businesses. We have a lot of small businesses in our state. Both, uh, both the House, the, the NFIB of West Virginia has said both the House and Senate passed tax reform proposals, and I quote, recognize the need for small business tax relief, which means businesses can reinvest in their businesses and their employees and create local jobs in rural and urban areas of West Virginia, end quote. I did have to kind of laugh when they said urban areas of West Virginia. I'm not sure we have truly urban area. We have many more rural areas, but we have, we have great towns in West Virginia. The NFIB went on to say, quote, we can't afford to miss this once in a generation opportunity to help Main Street businesses grow and create jobs. The West Virginia Chamber of Commerce represents businesses small and large in the state. Also expressed support for this tax reform effort this week by calling it, quote, a real win-win, and noting that, quote, by making tax re rates more competitive, small businesses will be able to reinvest in growing their operations and creating more jobs. 
and individuals will be able to determine how best to spend their hard-earned money, further stimulating economic growth. End of quote from the Chamber. The Chamber also pointed out that this effort is expected to grow jobs in our state by roughly 5,000 new jobs. Some states, 5,000 might not sound like a lot, but in a state like ours, 5,000 jobs would be welcomed and welcomed heartily. They also highlighted that West Virginians are expected to see an average reduction of nearly $2,000 in their federal taxes that they pay. That's a significant uh, amount of money for hardworking families across our state to be able to determine how they want to spend their money. Additionally, the state director of the West Virginia Chapter for Americans for Prosperity recently said, and I quote again, this is a huge step for taxpayers. This is going to make America, American businesses competitive again. It's going to put more money in the pockets of West Virginians. And finally, our West Virginia manufacturers, which we have a great manufacturing sector, they weighed in by saying, and I quote, manufacturers large and small no, this reform would mean more jobs in America, more investment in America, and more men and women making things in America. They continued, our elected leaders now need to seize this opportunity, get tax reform across the finish line, and send it to President Trump's desk. Well, I couldn't agree, with, I couldn't agree more. Many of the folks that I've quoted represent numerous businesses, represent numerous people who work in and for these businesses. To get this economy growing is incredibly important, and that's what we're going to do. It's time to, to seize this once in, an once in a lifetime and generation opportunity. This time, it is time now to get tax reform across the finish line, and it is time to send this pro-growth legislation to President Trump's desk. Families, workers, and small businesses in West Virginia and across this country are counting on us. They're counting on us to do the right thing, to be big and bold, to get this economy moving that will result in more jobs, higher wages, more investment, and more opportunity and optimism about the future of our country. I thank you, uh, Madam President, and I look forward to voting for this bill.